let's now meet our working environment and uh, when you start module 3.1 and you now understand what a word processor is now we're actually going to be using this word processor called microsoft word but let's quickly look at the environment that we are going to be working in so when you look at this picture you'll see a few things if you look at the top left hand corner you'll see a few of these icons here and this for example is for us to save a file we've got undo redo i can open a file but this is my quick access toolbar so um, it's a special menu that's there and i can actually go and customize it in other words i can add things and i can um, remove certain items that are there there you can see i can add open i can remove it as well but this is my quick access toolbar just a toolbar so I can access things quickly. On the right hand side, I've got my minimize, I've got my maximize, and I've got my close buttons. And in the middle, I have the name of my document. Now you'll see by default, it's document one because I haven't saved this as anything yet. Underneath that, I've got all these different tabs like file, home, insert, design. And you'll see underneath it, there are a number of areas grouped okay by what they actually do so you'll see there's table of contents group footnotes group if i go to design this document formatting under the home i've got my clipboard group and font group these are all the different groups and this is known as your ribbon area so these are my different tabs under that i have my ribbon and then within my ribbon i've got groupings for each one of these things underneath that i've i have what is called my ruler okay and you can see that on uh, top over here you can see it on the left as well then obviously i've got the layout of my particular page on the right hand side i've got my scroll bar that allows me to move up and down through my page and at the bottom uh, right hand corner i've got a little zoom slider as well so i can zoom out of my document and i can zoom all the way in so I can do that. Then on the left hand side, I have um, info regarding the number of pages that I have in my document, the number of words, and the type of English that is currently being used. Okay, and folks, this is the environment that we are now going to be working in within our word processor.